Welcome to a Drop Tent Media Production. The Porcupine with Adam Nutter. Yo, what's up, brother and sister bears? Welcome to the Porcupine. How are ye? I know I said like an old time Englishman. How how are ye? Uh, I'm currently suspended from Twitter, seven days. So don't you're not watching this on Twitter that much right now. <laughs> Definitely not. But I am suspended for seven days. It's a fucking. It's so annoying. So fucking annoying. Whatever though, it is what it is. Guys, we're here though. Another episode. I I took two weeks off. Been busy. Had vacation in Mexico. I subverted a whole people for my pleasure. But I over tipped, so I felt like I made up for it, you know. And then uh, had shows and shit, but whatever. We all know that though. So guys, go follow me at Adam Nutter, please, on Twitter. When I get, you can still follow me. When I get back active in a week, <laughs> I'll be back there. So go follow me on Twitter at Adam Nutter. Uh, go follow, please listen to the Cult of Us podcast to do with the great Neil Wood, my comedy show. So when you guys are sick of fucking talking about politics, and we'll go here to talk about dick jokes and make fun of our stupid lives. Cult of Us, YouTube.com slash Cult of Us for that. Uh, and go, go subscribe. If you're listening to this on audio, go subscribe um, to this YouTube, YouTube.com slash Adam Nutter. I do comedy clips up here too and all that cool shit. Um, go buy a shirt. Go buy a shirt, please. This is Cult of Us stuff. Hold on. But go buy a shirt. Go buy a porcupine shirt. Uh, they're super, super soft, super cool. Droptent.com slash store there they are get your porcupine shirt in black in white or by artwork himself the man the 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 most white supremacist is for puerto rican i know top lofts the <laughs> give it up get this obey your local nutter shirt uh go support top go support me go get your shirts and oh yeah comedy comedy um this friday rexy's in jersey right over the bridge from philly I think it's North Hollingswood. Yeah, Rexy's. Rexy's Bar, North Hollingswood. Droptent.com slash events for your tickets for that. Then uh, June 30th, I'll be at The Stand in New York City. Get your tickets for that at thestand.com. I'll throw them up on droptent.com also. Uh, eventually, want to get my shit together. Then I'll be at the Whiskey Rebellion with Robbie the Fire Bernstein. And uh, Blaze Gagakis is hosting. That's July 9th and 10th. Somewhere in PA, in the west side, by Pittsburgh. That's all I can tell you. I don't know where. It's not organized well. Anthony Portillo, get on it. So, but July 9th and 10th, Robbie the Fire will be there. I'll be there. Blaze Gigakis is hosting. Uh, July 14th, I'm at the Kings Highway Comedy Show. That's in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Uh, tickets are available and almost sold out to that one already. So, dropped such events for that. Again, tickets for that. Uh, July 16th, the next pop-in show. You guys know, monthly show we run. Up in Chalfont, right by Philly. Droptent.com slash events. Tickets. You guys know that. And then, oh, out with my boy, Kyle Ruff, in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, August 12th and 13th. Yes, that's it for me. All right, guys. Long intro. But I think worth the wait because uh, we have somebody who I think you guys like more than me already. Because you've been on Twitter for a day and a half. And you guys are like, oh, he's funny. Or he likes you more than me. Fuck you guys, you fucking traitors. Anyway. I'm going to bring him in, the man, the myth, the legend, my father, Robert Nutter, drinking whiskey. Wow. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it's the only way I can get through this show. All right. You know, you know, you don't got to feed the chat content already. They already have it. I mean, I can't even defend myself on Twitter because I'm fucking suspended, and you're not. And Tom was followed you for – I have a lot of things I'm mad about today. <laughs> well, let's face it. They know quality, so, you know. Just move on. Get past it. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Papa. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Christ, man. All right. Great. Can't wait for that. So uh, I think people want to know what it was like raising me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, they, I don't think they have enough of time. <laughs> they have time. That would, no, that would They're never losers take like way us. too long. <laughs> and besides, I'm scarred as it is. Do I want to go out and scar more people, innocent lives out there? That That, that would be good. Now, really, uh, Adam was uh, special growing up. As a matter of yeah. fact, we've called him special many times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Other people <laughs> use other words. Yeah, <laughs> we've in, always thought of it. They usually end in Tim. Special <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I, no, no, it was it was it was thrilling. Uh, right? It was fun. I think I was a, I think I was a pretty good kid. Yeah. Well, when when we found you, you know, no yeah. one else would take you, so exactly. we figured, why not? You know, come along. Out in the woods. Yeah. Where I belong. Out, 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 <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Uh, I, I would say this. Was I always against authority ever since I was a little kid? Well, there was that time that you wouldn't get in the car and you had to be four. Yeah. Or so. And uh, we said, okay, you don't have to get in the car, but we're going. So that's what we did. Your mom and I, we got in the car. We pulled out of the parking spot. We went about 10, 20 feet, looked back. And you were still standing just like that on the sidewalk. (laughs) And I have a feeling if we kept going, which I should have listened to your mom, by the way, (laughs) But if we had to get going, you would have stayed there. Yeah. But no, you know, I figured, Fuck you know, come man. on. You were the man at that time. You stayed as pig. <laughs> I said, no, no, no. You know, already. You know yeah. he's, 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 you know, let's, let's, let's give him the kid a break. So, no, no, and that stayed true to my adulthood. That's why I think I, 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 I just butted head with, heads with mom my whole life because growing up, she was around all the time and yeah. she was like my authority. She was like my direct authority figure. Well, that's true. That's true. So I was like, fuck this. <laughs> I don't like that. I got to follow yeah. rules. Yeah, but but you always seem to you know hear a different drummer or something, which is why we thought of you as special. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Uh, okay, I get and it. we still I think am, of you as special. I am a comic. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, clown. By now nature, that's funny. For sure, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> uh, no, no, really. Uh, like like mom keeps asking me, when is he going to get a job, a real job? Wow, so, I don't know. I don't know. He's wow. doing this you know thing with. And I, I'm thinking people, I'm hoping that they laugh with you, but you know, you never know. I don't Jesus know. Christ. <laughs> You're giving people clips right now. They're going to, they're going to be roasting me, especially fuck if Dan Smots gets a hold of this. I'm fucked. Oh, you know, as soon as Dan Smots, watch, he's going to make a fucking oh, video. Dan, if, if you're watching, you, you can just email me. We'll, we'll get back and forth. <laughs> I give you all the lowdown. Yeah. I think he was in on you getting on the jokes on Twitter. <laughs> I think you guys had a whole thing planned. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. You know, it was just uh, it was just spontaneous. It was just spontaneous. You know, when, whenever you come out there and you you start to interact with people, you know, you and they united, try to run away. United. You know, that you just pull them back. So you know, it's just that spontaneous. Uh, I'm glad we, we could all uh, rally around hating the government and me all at the same time. <laughs> it's super yes. cool. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Look at the, the government's much, much worse. That's true. Much worse. That is true. Okay. That's true. Much worse. And I'm funnier. The government is much worse. <laughs> I don't know about funny, but the government's much worse. Well, funnier in some respects, but you know, definitely much worse. Oh, it's a fucking so. shout out, Shannon. It's true. Dan Smot is up in Porkfest for the week, so he might not see this <laughs> fucking year. Unless it's one of you scumbag send it to him, which you will. <laughs> but uh yeah, I, I got I got asked to go to Porkfest this year too, but I was like that's up in New Hampshire, obviously, and I just did comedy up there in April. Literally the end of April 30th, the literally end of April, so May essentially. Yes, and I, was, I, I, I saw that, and, yeah. and they, they requested that you not come not back. Come <laughs> so, <laughs> like, we, we, we yeah. <laughs> not come to Porsche. We got it. We got the gist. I think we're good. And so, thank you for the booze. It'll help keep me here. So, thanks. No, but I was like, I'm not going to go back up in June just to do pretty much the same exact set I just did in fucking April. So, right. but, uh, hey, you know, I could be watching a, a rerun of Little House on the Prairie. So, wow, that's exhilarating. You know, what are you drinking? Uh, bourbon. 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 What, what, what brand? Actually, no. Uh, fuck the brand. No free. No free shout outs here. <laughs> a good. Good. Uh. Good. Good. Good company though. Good. Bourbon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Excellent stuff. Uh, there is, is no icky. such thing as bad <laughs> bourbon. I'm Just sure like there, there is. is no such thing. No. No. Just bad like there's no such thing as bad scotch. You can't. You can't get a bad bottle what's, of scotch. What's the best scotch you've ever had? Oh, probably McAllen. Probably if McAllen. you were to give me that and then give me whatever the version of your worst scotch is, I would be like, yeah. this both tastes like rubbing alcohol. No, no, no. I remember, Absolutely not. I, I do remember. All right. Cause this is fun. Fun. Adam growing up moment when I was 21 and I was finally of legal drinking age. And, uh, I was think I thought I was a shit, you know, as every 21 year old does. And when they turn to like, I could fucking drink, you know, like <laughs> you can't, you can't out drink an adult who's been drinking their whole life. Like it's crazy. No. And I was try, like, though. let's do, I'm like, let's go, let's do shots. And you went, 
okay and you went and you i was like what do you want to do he's like let's do vodka and i was like let's do fucking vodka and you're like all right i'm gonna chill this gray goose all day and i was like chill it all day son and then we waited all day in the nighttime we had a barbecue with like the neighbors and shit yeah, yeah. and then um everyone was over and then you're like when we get the gray goose i was like let's get that fucking gray goose out i'm thinking like i'm thinking like this is gonna be so cool i'm gonna fucking out drink everyone on the table because i'm 21 and then uh didn't happen and then no, what soaked. happened was though was I remember you taking them like they were legitimately water, and with zero reaction. I know Grey Goose is like a good vodka, yeah. or whatever, so it's like yeah. smoother, but still, it's all right. And I was like, you know, two in, three in. I was like, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. And you're like, I'm 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 like five in. What's up? And you just kept, like you were just fi- like fine. And I was like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do. And like all the other adults were also fine. I was like, oh, oh yeah. I'm right. fucked here. I, and I remember throwing up that night. Bad. <laughs> yeah, I tried to be a badass, and you guys were fine. You guys weren't even, like, drunk. No. You guys had, like, zero effect on the booze, and I was like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, you forget, we bad. had just a few years and, you know, time worth of experience. Doing yeah, that, so, bad. You know, yeah. That uh, helps. What up, Kareem? Uh, real quick, um, so Shannon says, because since you're a history buff, uh, how do you feel about Vietnam? I'm assuming it's going to be bad. <laughs> but well, I tell you, you, you know, Vietnam? I was I, my, you know, at that point in time, uh, I was getting older, and I was starting to get to the age where I was about to be drafted and sent to Vietnam. So mm-hmm. everybody that you can read about or hear about or talk about, they all hate Nixon. Loved that man. He was such a great man. <laughs> He's the one that ended the war. Got me not to have to be drafted and sent over to Vietnam. So yeah, that was clutch. Good going, tricky dick. You know. Yeah, you're still a crook, but you know what? <laughs> Who cares though? I, <laughs> I don't care. It's, it's like, he's, like he was a crook in Vietnam, and it's, 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 it's like, oh, he so. cheated. He cheated inside of a cheating organization. Like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, they're all scumbags. Like, I know. But it's she, like, uh, who's the biggest crook here? Yeah, you know, uh, doesn't matter. They're all crooks. So, doesn't matter. yeah. Uh, Cream said he's still a status, but he did okay there. <laughs> uh, Shannon, but I think her point was this: uh, Does he think that the government did the whole peace, love, and happiness movement to counter the war, but it was both fueled by the government? Which I always thought that, but how? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, and at, at the time, you know, looking at it, I, I, growing up, again, because I was still still younger when it was still going on, and I remember reading the New York Times, and the New York Times was uh, really a, always a liberal uh, paper, but, but now, uh, now it's like super. Fucking, now it's it's crazy. Fucking all but you out. could <laughs> you, yeah, but but you could get you know some conservative articles in there, and I remember, I remember reading it. And, you know, my parents always said, oh, the war, the war is a good thing and blah, 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 blah. You know, domino effect and blah, 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 and all this other stuff. So I didn't know any better. So I figured, all right, they're they probably right. They, they should know. But, you know, the more I read that paper, and it wasn't so much the left wing talking uh, about how horrible the war was. It was reading all of the stuff by the right wing mm-hmm. and, and how they, they promoted it and how yeah. good it was. And then what they were doing there. Yeah, just, just sending troops out in the middle of a jungle <laughs> to bring out the view. And I'd say, this is insane. This is, and, and for what objective are you doing this? And, and what's going on? So it was actually by reading a lot of the right stuff that brought me over to the right way of thinking. It, it wasn't the, 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 the left point of view, which was actually the right way. Well, at, at the, the time, time, but at now, time, isn't it so was. funny how it's just completely. <laughs> Yeah, it's just now they're like, we should fund a proxy war in Ukraine. (laughs) It's it's like, what? (laughs) And if you don't, you're like, like you hate people, like you, like you're like racist, whatever. (laughs) It (laughs) it just boggles the mind. It just boggles the mind. If you don't want to start a nuclear war with Russia, (laughs) you hate poor people or whatever the fuck they say. You're like, yeah, Yeah, that's it. I don't know. (laughs) But it was it was funny growing up at that time and and how my views changed and why it's so important to have opposing views and not just one voice. Because if I just had that that one voice, I probably would still think that hey, you know, the war is a great thing, and they, they, they should be doing it when they really I, should. I, I always been. say so. I feel, and I've, I said this on the show multiple times. But like Vietnam to you was like nine eleven <laughs> to me, where mm-hmm. like I'm, I was a kid, I was fucking what, 14, 13 years old when that happened. So you know, yeah. again, we're from Staten Island. We saw the fucking yeah. You know, I say all the time, right. we saw the smoke from our fucking house. Like you yeah. know. You you fuck. I think you were driving over the bridge when you you you. Well, no, I was I was driving on the Staten yeah. Island uh, Expressway, Expressway and, right? and you, there was smoke and all this other stuff. And I said, 
that's not right. <laughs> Didn't you see the physical towers on fire? Like you saw the towers because right? from there you could see them, right? Like yeah. I didn't see that. I just saw the smoke, but you saw the, cause you were working that way. It was, it was, yeah, it was, it was yeah. crazy. Uh, uh, so I always say like, you know, and obviously I got drummed up in the patriotism bullshit, bullshit behind the whole night. Cause you know, from New York, easy. Very from easy. New York. Oh, pe yeah. people, again, don't forget people we know died. Yeah. Don't, uh, classmates, parents died. Like yeah. we were like, that's the thing. Like you and I, like in our family, like we're not, I mean, no one in our family died, but I mean, so we were still directly affected by this fucking incident. So as a child too, and especially the news, right? Sure. Oh, they fucking, it's fucking this guy. They did this. They did this. They did this. And you're like, exactly. get them, bomb them. Yeah. <laughs> and I say this all the fucking time. You called it, man. You fucking called it in 2003. I give you all mm -hmm. the credit in the world. Cause I, I you said the, the Iraq invasion when they, Remember the night? Remember the famous night vision footage of them launching the Tomahawk missiles the first oh, night? Yeah. Yep. I remember I was up with you because it was like nighttime here and we were watching <laughs> it. And then you, like, we were both staring at the TV and I was still in my fucking, you know, brain of like, yeah, right? Get him. Cause like, that's, you know, I'm a dumb kid. And I remember you sitting there, like, like, like solemnly looking at the TV, being like, we just got ourselves revolved in a long time war. Yeah, it was like, and I remember you clear as day. That was your fucking exact sentence, and I was like, mm -hmm. "Who cares though?" And you were like, "You don't get it." No, I remember you telling me that at the time, and like I didn't get it, and you were so fucking right. Like you were like, "No, no, no this is like, this isn't about what you think it's about." No, nope. like this is like you were right. Like the whole Iraq thing, you were fucking right. You were a hundred percent right. Like I, I gotta give you credit as an adult. Like tips off. I, 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 was, I, I, I bought the lie as a kid. I have to write this down, dear diary. <laughs> Adam actually said I was right about something. Holy shit. <laughs> you were. You nailed it. I know. You, you said, you said, you're like, this war is bullshit. Like, there's sure. no fucking, why are we in Iraq? <laughs> I remember you yeah. remember saying all this stuff. And then as time, I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but, but, you know, all, all of this really is a process. And, and that's yeah. why when I was growing up, they used to say, never trust anyone over 30. And there was a reason for that. Yeah. Because by that time, you had gained enough of, of you know, life knowledge and experience to know what was what was BS and what wasn't, and uh, I never forget uh, it was in like uh, the late, I want to say the late nineteen eighties. I think the first time that uh, Ron Paul was running for president, I think it was eighty something. I don't remember. It was, I know it was the late eighties, eighty eight, eighty nine. I'm bad with dates. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm horrible with dates. And uh, that that was really the. I mean, I had heard his name before, but. That was like the first time I heard him, and I heard him, and I said, "Why isn't anybody, everybody talking like this guy? Why? Why isn't right. why isn't everybody sound like this? Why isn't everybody championing what he is?" And and that's what you know because before that I was a, a Ronald Reagan guy and, and a Republican guy and all this other stuff and and but you know as you get older you you start to see behind the smoke and the mirrors and the glass you see the puppet masters and, and you see the magicians and, and the sleight of hands and, and you see all that stuff. And then you go, Oh boy, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, and, and it just kept getting worse year after year after year. And then, then when you know it, it's like, uh, it, it really is so funny how like every like good Liberty person is like Ron Paul, like at one point in the conversation brings up yeah. Ron Paul. <laughs> well, well, you, well, you can't not, I you, mean, he's literally the best really? <laughs> like he's in our lifetime. Like the best, like you know, I mean, our actual like not like a generation, not like the last hundred years. I mean, like our actual lifetime. Yeah. Like, like we, like we were talking the other night at the diner, right? Like how we were saying, like, remember he was on the GOP floor getting booed, being like, "This is wrong. <laughs> 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 this war is wrong." And they're like, "Boo!" He's like, "I'm right." <laughs> like you have the balls to do that, you know? It's awesome. Well, I I remember when I thought that the Republican Party was on the right and had all the right things. It was for the Constitution. It was for freedom of you know speech and the second amendment and all this other stuff but over time you know as you start to peel back the layers on those onions oh man wow it really stinks. When, when, when would you because now i mean when you were younger and even in your adulthood you were a republican registered republican oh yeah uh, like yeah long, for sure long, long time. um long time. obviously not now but now you're no. libertarian but like um You've been for well. That's it. I found out that what is really a libertarian. All those I just <laughs> right. didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's wild too. It's like especially the sixties. I mean, it was formed in the seventies, but even yeah. still, like even in the eighties and stuff, until like Ron Paul. But you're still like, what the fuck am I? Like, yeah, like, I guess I'm Republican. Like, well, well, the whole idea was is you know you always hoped 
that the Republican Party would do the right thing. I mean, they never did, but you always no. hoped yeah, that yeah. they would do it because the Democrats were even worse. So you try to do the lesser of two evils. And then, you know, I used to try to vote for who I thought was the best person. Right. Then I try to vote for the person who I thought would do the least amount of damage. <laughs> and I said, you know what? That's not the way. That's not the way. And then right. when I heard Ron Paul speak, right. the first time he ran for president, I said, oh, that's everything I've been thinking. That's everything that I believe in. I, that's it's everything. Same, yeah. S same except I, for me, it was like, like 2012. What happened? Like, well, yeah. Where are these people? Where are all these? Right. <laughs> he was like a voice in the wilderness. And every time you talk, a Republican would trash him, a Democrat yep. would trash him. They hated the him. The news would trash him. Yep. A TV would trash him. Everybody would trash you know. And I'd never heard him. I'd never heard that before. And yeah, to find he, yeah. to find anybody in the Libertarian Party, you have a better chance fighting a Martian. I mean, they just didn't exist. They hid it. They suppressed it. They kept it down. Oh yeah, they literally. I mean, it's it's it sucks. The only way he could win was like running as a Republican too, because yeah. like that's it's yeah. it's a shame that that's the case. But like, I, listen, that's a whole other argument going on right now. In the Libertarian Party, like, is it even worth it? Should we just run Republican? I'm not getting into that tonight. I'm just saying, like, it yeah, sucks. Well, that has to be the case, that had to be the case for him. But like. Yeah. uh yeah, no. So, so you would say around when you first heard him, you you started changing over. Yeah, it was like the the late eighties. I like again. I don't know when he ran. It was in the nineties. Like yeah, yeah. I would, we would say the nineties is when you really started like getting more into it, though. Yeah. Then then once once the nineties came along, oh, uh, you know the 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 people just running were just I was like, oh my god, we were in so bad shape. Yeah, yeah. This is such, and, and there was there was no one. There's just you know there there was just no one there. And uh, I was saying, where are these people? They have to be somebody out there. But you know what? They all sold out. Everybody sold out. It's just easier to sell out. And that that's that's what makes someone like a Ron Paul so special. Yeah. Because they talk about a diamond in a rough. He's like you know, yeah. 10,000 diamonds in a rough. I mean, yeah. you know, because everybody who gets to that point Instead of fighting everything, instead of doing the right thing, instead of going the way that they know they should, they all sell out. And who are they selling out? They're selling out us. That's who they're yeah. selling out. On the back of us, of course. And, and so, care. and all the wars and all this other stuff, that's just to keep us off balance. It's just to keep us constantly in turmoil so they could take care of their little agendas and and you know, and, and go their own merry merry uh, way. I, 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 yeah, no, you're sure. right. Like, like we were just talking about the Iraq War before. It's like it's like so, it, right. again, as a kid, you're so dumb. When I was a kid, I was so dumb. But looking at it, as an adult, looking back at it, you're like, so you're telling me <laughs> we were attacked by 18 Saudi men, and then we attacked Iraq <laughs> and <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> And Why? Again, I'm, I'm not going to go into a lot of conspiracy theorists, but there are a lot of crazy stuff that went on on 9-11. A lot of stuff that I heard. I'm not going to tell them to you because I don't know what's true, what isn't true, if it's validated or not. But it just seems highly unlikely. Yeah, that, that's okay. that's the thing. It's like I'll I leave think it at that. Complete, I think it's complete. I talked about. It, I talked about it before. I think it's complete. That what we were told obviously is bullshit. You know, obviously, but yeah. like, yeah. It, you know, it's it's funny too when you when you tell people like you know the Taliban <laughs> offered Osama bin Laden up to us, like they they said, oh, if you could prove any sort of evidence that he did this, we'll turn him over to like a neutral third party like uh, tribunal council, like the Geneva, whatever the fuck, and then we were like. Now we're gonna invade you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't have proof per se, so we're just gonna bomb your country. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. And why? Because we can. Yeah. You know. And meanwhile, do you have any oil? <laughs> yeah, like, that oil and opium you guys got over there oh, looks pretty good. <laughs> that didn't work. We gotta find a country with more oil, <laughs> which they of course did. So, Iraq. You know. Boom! Yeah. Kick the door. You, you guys. <laughs> mass destruction. Shut up. Yeah, so it's it's down. it's a scary thing. It it does, you know, for a while I had actually pulled back from any kind of political activity because you know you, you just get so it's so depressing. Tiring. Yeah. I, you know, you feel like, you know, you're in this hole and there's just no way to get out. There, there's nothing you could do. There's no way to fight back. You really do feel helpless for a while. And and you know, you you want to do something and and you don't know what. And so then I would just take my vote and I would use it as a protest vote. Heck, I would have voted for Mickey Mouse. Yeah, uh, at the time, if if they had put it up for president or whatever, 
Uh, although maybe not today because I know what's going on with Disney. And that's yeah, but you're, but you're fucking creeps. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Can't make a goddamn good Disney movie anymore. Yeah, I don't, don't want to get involved anymore. in that either. But uh, So, you know, it's it's just so hard to to look at that and see what's going on and know that it doesn't have to be that way. That's that's the part that really gets you. Everybody can can make out really well. Government people can make out really well. We could make out. Everybody can. But you have to do what's right. And and the problem is, is you can't find anybody to do that. That's why, again, going back to Ron Paul, you know, it was like, wow, it just knocked me over when I when yeah. I heard what he had to say and, and what he was saying and what he was looking for and what he wanted. And I said, that's the Constitution. Yeah, it's like, it's, again, yeah, yeah. You, you know, I mean, I'm kind of a little bit of a history buff. And I, yeah, of course, which we'll get back into that the, in a minute. Too. The, the shirt yeah. I've got on, what is it? 1776. There we yeah, go. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, so it's about the Constitution. And I'm saying we have gotten so far from the Constitution that it's it almost has nothing to do. Today, the, the United States almost has nothing to do with the Constitution. Almost. Right. Not quite, but almost. Which is a scary thing. That's what made us great. And they say, okay, that's what made us great. So let's not do that anymore. Well, because it's... They know that though. They know what they're. It's on oh, purpose, right? So it's like it's, they're doing that on purpose. They want that. I mean, that's why because they know they can't take away the constitution. So what what do they do instead? Oh well, we could just influence culture. So we'll do a cultural yeah. Marxist bullshit fucking turn on our there kids and school and movies yep. and art, and then and then this piece of paper that shouldn't really matter because our rights should be inherited anyway from you know <laughs> fucking nature and god so fuck up but, but that independently of what i'm saying yeah you know so like we, we can influence that and that will make all this, especially the younger generation be like who cares about the fucking second amendment wouldn't know all that bullshit um actually i want to get back to that back to that too in a second but i do want to say um <clears throat> one of the reasons why you started twitter and you started to get more active and stuff is you're almost retiring so you're yeah. almost retired like another year yeah. or so not not um, quite we uh, we moved, so the room looks kind of a mess. All right, this you is just the second recently bedroom. moved right to New Jersey. For they left yeah. Staten Island to New Jersey, which I said is one lateral trash movement to the next. <laughs> just laterally moved garbage well, dumps. Well, you're, <laughs> you're going from one uh, communist state to another, so I, I yeah, get you really it. are. Yeah, yeah you are uh, slightly less commie than New York. Because at least yeah. New York City is really commie. At least you're less slightly less commie. Slightly New less, yeah. but not not significantly so. So. Uh, Tim McMaster, do you have any kids who are funny? Fuck you, Tim. I'm the only son. I'm the only <laughs> child. How about that? How about that? Well, none, none, <laughs> none that I'm willing to admit to. Anyway, fair. Uh, but well, what was I just saying? Jesus Christ! See, I can't. My what was I just saying? Duh. Funny. What I say before this? History. Oh, history buff. You started. Twitter. I don't know. I try and block out a lot. Shut of up. I got it. I got so it. So the one of the reasons you started Twitter is because you want to get more ass. Because you almost retired, just moved. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and you. In the next year, you are starting uh, your own podcast, which I don't want to say the name because it's a good name and it's not official yet. So I'm going to tell the name. But um, if you want to, you want to tell the concept. Are you are you comfortable telling the concept? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Way to plug. I'm going to tell the concept. <laughs> so the concept is pretty much. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you are going each episode. You're going to take a uh historical event or person in history or whatever and a certain lick like liquor or drink of that mm. region and then pair them together and tell like a cool story of that story or like that of a war or whatever correct right pretty much the that sounds like a great idea premise of I think the I'm podcast. gonna run with that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm like I'm like when you told me that idea I'm like that's a good fucking idea I'm like I yeah. wish I had that idea <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's a good idea uh but so that's that's going to be, and again, I want to say the name because we we didn't put it out yet, right? So I'm saving right. the name of it, but uh, that will be out in the next year or so. Yeah. So I get to do a few of the things that I love to do the most: talk about history, and drink. <laughs> yeah. See exactly. Now, if I could only smoke inside, it would be perfect because then I have my exactly. pipe or a Tim, cigar oh, or fuck. something. I'll watch that. See, see. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a good idea. It's it's a good idea. Have a cigar. Have a have a little have a booze. Talk about a cool historical event. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea for a show. I know it's a uh, and ign- <laughs> yeah, yeah, Josh, and ignore your son. Got it. Okay, and <laughs> and I would encourage listeners if they're on there to to do the same. So yeah, no, it's it's, it's a good idea for a show. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on that soon. Um, 
and build that hopefully and start we start youtube for, for mm -hmm. you and all that in the future so that, that's so that's pretty much mm -hmm. you know but well you're on here because I've, I've wanted you on here but like i said you have nothing yeah. you have nothing to promote for so long yeah but now well, and, you're like, oh, and, I have a Twitter, I have a fucking podcast. And I know you couldn't get anyone else tonight, so I figured, you know, let me let me get you a break. You know. <laughs> I have Cut the kid a break. For, uh, I mean, days. you know, his career is, uh, you know, and it's not doing so much. The career and, is great. You know, <laughs> is it? Oh, yes, it is. Believe me, it is. God it damn. Is. It's doing well. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> the room is rough. Uh, so. Um, no, I, I really love you, son. Thanks. <laughs> he, he pays me a dollar every time I say the word son. So it's true. He has a Patreon I subscribe to. <laughs> say that to me. Good work, son. Just made two bucks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so what? What was um, your big Second Amendment guy? Your big gun guy? Uh, obviously, Jersey being one of the worst gun states, though. <laughs> well, well, here's here's a great idea. Let's take the worst possible bullet that you could have anyone carry and make that the one that you have to carry, okay? And the one that could do the least amount of damage uh, to, to other people, that's the one that you can't carry. That's New Jersey, okay? That's people who aren't gun people, who don't know anything about guns, who don't know anything about bullets, who don't know much about probably anything, really. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, well, that's, that's just- points are illegal, right? Hollow points are illegal in New Jersey to carry. You can keep them in your house. So you could shoot anybody in your home if you want with a hollow point. But you can't you just can't the carry road. them out on the street where it's probably safer because it's less likely to go through people instead of a right. full metal jacket, which can go through. Well, yeah, people, people who never shot a gun before are the worst who want to talk about guns. And I was saying oh, this yeah. to, again to the other day with you where I was like yeah. – veterans who are anti-gun are mm -hmm. the biggest scumbags i think yeah. more so than just the average person who's anti-gun because you motherfuckers should know better like yeah. what the gun's for and the, I, I like that one like oh you always see that one tweet from some blue checked asshole twitter veteran <laughs> who'll be like you know i was on the battlefield and there's no reason for a rifle a bat or the fuck they say <laughs> i'm like you're fucking gay wait wait a minute <laughs> I, I i have to read something that 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 shannon has up here she said so would papa not ra uh, rather you uh, a cop or a comedian yeah well since he was a, a comedian as a cop I, I figure he's sort of fulfilling both. It's true. <laughs> uh, well, actually, good pivot because it's all what I want to talk about. Um, I was saying you're. I a knew big that gun. it was in the script. <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> you're you're a big gun guy, and you're big on obviously gun rights, and uh, you don't think any laws are no. uh, good. All obviously, you and I are the, in agreement the only that, law that they should have is that you should be able to get a gun. Yeah, exactly. Right. You should just walk that in. Should be it. the law. You should be able to get a gun. Uh, it, Anytime, in, any place, in, anywhere, in, in any P, ammunition. In PA, uh, our, our illustrious governor, uh, Wolf, uh, just was like, the Republicans just shot down a, 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 an amendment to make ARs a, a, a approval of age 21. I was like, oh, wow, they did their job. <laughs> Congrats. They did <laughs> a good thing. How did that thing. happen? <laughs> and he was all like, this is a safety. And you're going to be an all fucking bitchy lefty commie. But, um, uh, Tim. I really want to smoke pot and drink scotch and Mr. Nutter. <laughs> <laughs> he will. <laughs> he will do that with you. <laughs> so hit us up next time he's in PA. I'll let you know, Tim. You take a drive out to fucking Newtown. Uh, uh, you're welcome. Thanks, Shannon. Uh, so, uh, no, but so obviously you're a big gun guy. And, sure. and the, uh, again, a, a big thing that gun advocates, not gun, uh, anti gun advocates always say is like, the police have guns. Well, Sure, they do. The police have guns, huh? Well, let's see. Let's see what the police do with those guns. The police watch your children die with their guns. That's what the police do. This that, is them. This that's is the picture. So painful everybody, to watch. It's heartbreaking. For everybody who's not who audio listeners, I have a picture uh, up on, on on Twitter on my my suspended Twitter account. Um, you have. I, just in frame here from a closed security camera, one, two, three, four officers, two ballistic shields, all body armored and rifled up. Helmets. 40 minutes outside the room. They waited. And I want to read a little bit of this article. 
because this is this is what got me suspended off Twitter, by the way. I told these guys to hang themselves. That's what got me suspended off Twitter. Um, two closed doors and a wall stood between them and an 18-year-old with an AR-15 who had open fire on children and teachers inside the connected classrooms. A Halligan bar and acts like forcible entry tools used by firefighters to get through locked doors was available. Ballistic shields were arriving on the scene. So was plenty of firepower, including at least two rifles. Some officers were itching to move. One such officer, a special agent at the T uh, Texas Department of Public Safety, had arrived around 20 minutes after the shooting started. He immediately asked, are there still kids in the classrooms? Quote, is, if there is, then you just need to go in, the agent said. Another officer answered, it isn't known at this time. The agent shot back, you don't know if there are kids in there? He added, if there are kids in there, we need to go in there. Whoever is in charge will determine that, came the reply. The ex this exchange happened early in the excruciating 77 minutes on the date that uh, Salvador Ramos, who had just shot his grandmother in the face, walked through an unlocked door of the elementary school, encountering no interference. Da, 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 da. Uh, only two teachers were dead or dying. Other states, uh, most of the 77 ministers and police officers. In the, uh, okay, yeah. So, you guys get it. <laughs> you guys get it. They watched your children fucking die. Cowards. Those are your fucking, as Scott Horton says, these are your fucking protectors. Those guys. Those fucking men. Watch your fucking children die. And they want to take away your right to fucking defend your family. Don't ever forget that. <clears throat> I want to make a point. I was a fucking cop in NYPD for eight years. Whatever. I hated it. We all know my story. Okay. I talk about it all the time. The one thing, though, I got out of that job was training, like a lot of it. Like, they offered it all the time for overtime. So I took essentially, yeah, free money from the taxpayers. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> but, but I did. I took I overtime money. I appreciate it. It got, it got him out of the house. So that was yeah, it got me out of the house. <laughs> but I took overtime money, okay? I took three active shooter courses, three of them. Every single course, the very first bullet point, of what to do was immediately engage the shooter because that's how you stop loss of life. There's no posting up outside. There's no waiting for bed. If you're even solo, your job is to literally be the bullet for the innocent people around you, essentially, and take fire for innocent people because that's what you signed up to. Actually, technically, no, the Supreme Court said you don't have to. But if you're a man or a whatever woman who took on the oath, you should fucking do it. You should fucking do it. So I was always trained to immediately engage the shooter, to put him down and stop it. In fact, one of the trainings I had was so fucking real. They, 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 they hired like actors and stuff. I think I told you this before, but for anybody listening, yeah. they hired actors like kids and adults, like children to adults. And they're like, we're doing school shooting, active shooter training. No one could watch each other go. Everybody has to stay outside. And we're not going to tell you what to do. We're not telling you what you're walking into. You and your partner just show up and you have to do whatever you would do. And we didn't know what anybody else did. Like I said, so me and my partner went finally. We we're like fifth to go. And we just have regular fucking Glocks, you know standard issue nine millimeters that we got and uh we walked in and the training they had kids and covered in blood like screaming for help it was like you're like what the fuck and people like coming out after you like pretending to be shot like there was like fake blood and stuff and if you went to help somebody they came out and they shot you if you went to help a kid they came out and they shot you if you went to stop your movement they shot the shooter shot because they're like, hey, as heartbreaking as it is to see a dying child on the ground and your guttural instinct, especially as a parent, is to go and try to save this fucking kid, you have to kill this guy. And they're, the, the whole thing is like, no, no, no. You have to physically, they trained us to physically walk over dying children to fucking get around to kill this guy. And then immediately you go and save as soon as that. Because the whole point is you're the savior, quote unquote, in this scenario. Right. So if you go down, 
Now they have to put more resources to your dumbass. Do your fucking job. So long story short, these fucking cops should be hung, and that's why I'm fucking suspended on Twitter, and that's why you should never let fucking this government ever take your gun rights ever, 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 ever. Sorry for that fucking incredibly long rant. <laughs> Any thoughts you want to add? <laughs> yeah, just that there's not enough of uh, bourbon and scotch to, to, to make that go away. And uh, I, I know I, I, I tease Adam all the time about it, but uh, one thing I was always very proud of him was when he was a police officer and how he conducted himself. And, and well, many of the ways that he did. <laughs> yeah, because okay. I acted like a fucking a, a libertarian would and not like a fucking like they wanted me to. That's why and I did just the human thing and not the right thing, according to them, a lot of time. That's why. And and he also pays me to say that, too. I so. also pay him to say that, too. <laughs> oh, fucking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to say it because YouTube will get banned. But yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So. Anybody visual wants to read what I just had up on the screen? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Reed, is your dad funny? Yeah, Reed, you missed out on the bits earlier. You should lead to the show, Reed. My dad's funny. Uh, yeah, exactly, Shannon. How many active shooter trains did the mom who passed the cops to save her kids that day? Zero. Right. It's, it's that. Yeah, those <laughs> cops stopped the parents from going to save their own kids. Don't forget that. They tackled them. I, I heard one was actually tasered. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's true. I don't now, know. But. I'll believe it, though. Oh, to add up to the more cowardliness, one of the cops on scene, his wife was a teacher and she was shot and she called him and she's like, I'm shot. He's like, okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, that's really, he's like, oh, they say she's shot. He, she said, he said that she turned, he turned to the guys he was with and she's like, oh, she said she's shot. Well, like, love is never having to say you're sorry. So. Dude, that's fucking nuts, man. Like, could you imagine, I could, c can you imagine that? Like, see, I, again, I know we're busting my balls and stuff. Like, imagine... We're both parents. I imagine that was me when I was a kid, and that was like the school I was in. Would you let the cops be like, "Nah, man, you can't go in"? Like, that that wouldn't happen. I, I'd have my going, own gun. Yeah, I'd have my own gun. Like, like, like I said, at what point is it wrong to shoot these fucking cops at the scene for stopping you from saving your child's life? Why? And that's, this is a right wing issue that I, I just hate with all these fucking you know, blue lives matter douchebags. I'm like, why do they get a pass to to let your kids die? A quick question, Adam. Could 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 you be tossed off this channel too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I can. I absolutely can. Just curious. I I wasn't sure. That's what Odyssey's no. for. Go, oh, you know what? <laughs> hey guys, go subscribe to me on Odyssey. <laughs> Kind of honesty, I figure right. you're one for one. You could be two for two. I don't know. <laughs> don't report me, scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What, what do I send this to? <laughs> Dear YouTube, my son, I mean Adam Nutter, <laughs> is being a rapscallion on your channels. <laughs> um. So what? Uh, another question I was have for you is. Is the gun issue your biggest liberty movement issue, or is it like the like anti-war, anti-drug, anti whatever the fuck? Like, what is your biggest like? The, oh, money well, spending, the Fed will, obviously, will, and the Fed in your. I will tell you why the 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 two A issue is is the biggest one. I, I was gonna say obviously your Feds in the bio uh, and the Feds in your bio, <laughs> in your Twitter bio, which people love. Like your dad's more based than you. I'm like, what, you think he has that in his bio? He's more based than me. <laughs> uh, the 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 biggest reason is because you, if you look at any country that's ever been suppressed by the government, the first thing they did was they took away all the guns. Because once your population is no longer even a little bit of a threat, you could do whatever you want to them. And then you have nothing but totalitarianism and it just goes crazy from there. So believe it or not, uh, they talk about freedom of the press. They, they talk about free speech. They talk about all the other amendments, everything. And, and just keep, keep, keep this in mind. Everything hinges on the Second Amendment. Once you lose that, mm -hmm. all the other amendments go away. Yep. They're gone. Well, like That's Dave it. Chappelle famously said, he's like, you know, the first amendment's first for a reason, but the second one's second for a reason to back that motherfucker up and it fails. <laughs> you know? He's right. It's 100%. He's right. That one does. It's the glue. That whole there. It's the only thing that matters. 
It the really truly is. The government has, and I'm talking about, you know, police and whatnot, have about 20 million guns. Okay. The population mm -hmm. has 420 million guns. Right. It's not even close. What What do you think about? Oh, first of all, before I get into this, uh, Jacob, you fuck you. First of all, he goes, "Okay, your dad is our new co as our new co host." Oh, uh, because I do the I do the LPPA Mises <laughs> Caucus podcast. That's Jacob. Uh, you know Jacob. I do the LPPA Mises yeah. Caucus podcast. I was you know. Uh, so he's talking about that show. Uh, fuck you. And then overall, I didn't <laughs> like Nutter, but I really love Nutter. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Um, we have chingos of guns that the government just did as dirty during COVID. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Oh, uh, you know what? I, my answer. I mean, I'll give you my take on that. Um, my response to that is <clears throat> maybe they would have tried to go further if we didn't have guns. But I always say that too. I'm surprised they did what they did with the guns we have, and they still did do that. That is a good point. It is. It is a good point. I'm sure. So no, uh, they they will try to get away with as much as they possibly can, because taking away your Second Amendment right isn't about keeping people safe it's about control yeah of course it's all about control uh, it's all about domination and control every time they pass a law whether it's a speed law or re regardless of what the, it's about getting you into control controlling your actions controlling your thoughts controlling what you do uh when i was in uh driving around brooklyn they have these uh, 30 mile an hour you can't drive around a school 30 miles an hour. Real quick, okay. I'm not coming to Fort Park Street. Reed. No, I just, no, I'm not. Sorry. Sorry. You know what? If you should have drove through the eastern side of Pennsylvania, Reed, you went to go see Kyle. Kyle's so fucking cool. Fuck Kyle. You should have saw me. You know, that's what you get. Now you don't get to see me at Fork Fest. Sorry, go ahead. I'm driving through shitty Brooklyn. <laughs> Did I mention that he interrupts me a lot? <laughs> so, you know, they weren't making enough of money. So they dropped that down to 25 miles an hour. Uh, so they weren't making enough of income from that. Right. Uh, then they dropped it down to 20 miles an hour. You know how many schools there are in Brooklyn? A lot. Every few blocks you drive, there's blocks. another school. Yeah. So it's all about controlling you, about getting revenue, more money for them, probably even to put in their pockets. Who, who knows what they even do with this stuff? All I know is the streets aren't better. The schools aren't better. The government <laughs> certainly isn't better. Nothing that I know of is better. Except that it's everything is costing me a lot more, yeah. and they have more and more control over my life, and, what I can money. do, where I can go. Uh, it's it's just all getting scary. It, it's one of the few good things about being older, because I'm not going to have to put up with it for another fifty years. I know I'm gay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, you're gonna die soon. <laughs> so well, gonna... not that soon. Hey, it's not you rush thing. No. Uh, oh yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have. Uh, I have a, a hotline to the to the main man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't answer me, but I still have a hotline. That's <laughs> uh, rude. I, I disagree. <laughs> Agreed. I don't think he's <laughs> cooler than me. Okay, I'm taller than him. I don't know if that matters. I, it's my thing. I'm hung up on that. I have more tattoos than he does. I don't know. <laughs> yes, and my son has a lot of neat tattoos. See, I just made another dollar. So. <laughs> like a seal, I just throw you fucking dollars and you. <laughs> uh. What was I going to say? Uh, so what, 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 what would your second thing be then outside of the guns? Uh, again, like I said before, really, everything flows from that. If, if you can control that and keep the vultures off of you from that, uh, you can pretty much, you know, take charge of everything else and push everything else back. It's, it's when they take that from you that everything just falls apart from there. I, so. I'm going to throw you on the spot a little bit because I, I didn't pre-ask you the question. Like Ooh. this. So are you gay? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh what would you think in the last I'll I'll leave this up to your uh viewers and yeah. and, 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 and on that question. I had him, right? So am I so. gay? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how that works. Uh <laughs> in sure. the last so you know, in your <laughs> lifetime, what would what? you say was like the top three detrimental policies to hurt us as a country. It could be, it could be general. They could kind of be general. Let's put it on the spot. I know. I was like, like, like for an instance, like when Nick, like when Nixon took us to the gold standard, right? Like I would say I was one of them. Like that was, that would right? absolutely be one because then they had the, uh, the, the green light to print as much money as they wanted to. Right. Uh, that, that was horrible decision. Uh, I, I, I think another one that they're doing is, is just recently with all of this, this woke stuff, 
Uh, it's just the horrible. Well, yeah. But I think I think the 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 biggest one uh, is is just the uh, the lack of faith in in people uh, by our our politicians. They, they've all become so greedy and so selfish, uh, just looking for power. I mean, if you look at the last twelve presidents, I mean, it, it's it's been a nightmare, one one after the other. Look look last at all 12, the wars. Last, how many are there? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, we can go back even further, but I mean, I'm just yeah, saying. No. And you're, and you're, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, just just look at all of the wars that they've gotten us into, and and is is the world better now? Right, are, yeah. are we are we any safer now? Uh, is is the problems of of, of the country or, or, or people's lives uh, better now or, or more advanced? No, absolutely not. If anything, it's worse, and not just worse, but much worse. Yeah. So you know, it's it's just you know, I, I think politicians have become the uh, the new princes and and queens oh, and sure. kings uh-huh. of. Uh, the uh, country and, I think, and you know, that that was never the way it was intended to work out I, I but think they both, they are the new royalty and that's how they treat themselves and everyone underneath that we're all just you know con- con- considered scum and, and vessels and you know uh, i love that line in um wallace uh uh will william the the, the movie about william uh, wallace Braveheart? Great Braveheart. How did you forget okay. Braveheart? <laughs> yeah, no, I forget a lot of things these days. Don't Jesus worry about Jesus Christ! How, is that is that Scott where, hitting you? Where dude? he talks, oh, I'm going to talk fucking over him now. Christ. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ignore him. You know the fucking where, movie, like the where most he famous talks movie, about, like from the '90s. <laughs> and I, I forget who who he says it to, but he says it to, and we could say this to a politician, where he says to the politician, he says, "Look, he says you think that these people are here." to support you serve you right when, yeah. when really you're here to serve them and i think that's the way it's flipped uh, oh, years yeah. ago when when a politician couldn't even make a living being a politician you knew he was there to serve the people now he expects them to keep him in power uh to keep him in his luxurious lifestyle or the jet setters and flying around all over the you know all the little junkets they go on to and everything else that you don't hear about Things paid for life after they leave. You know, oh, yeah. the health care that everyone else, you know, would, would love to have and only they have it. Oh, ha- ha- have it all the stock. It goes off. on and they're, on. They're and all on. millionaires somehow. Yeah. Amazing how that happens. <laughs> Amazing. I was going to say the, the to your point about the royalty, the mm-hmm. biggest was like the COVID shit, right? With like, uh, they're like, you can't leave your house, but they're like in spas. Oh, yeah. Like, fuck oh, you like, have to wear it. See, again, it all goes back to control. Yeah, it all yeah. goes back to control. And that's what all these laws really are. And once people realize, and, and there are a lot more and more people realizing that. Uh, but again, the, the mainstream, they still think of America as this, you know, 1880s kind of country, uh, you know, when, you know, Abe Lincoln kind of stuff and all this other nonsense. And it's it's not that. It was never that. Even back then, it was never that. Oh, well, the, 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 but my favorite is when you tell lefties or liberals, like, you know, Abe Lincoln is like one of the worst presidents we have. And they're like, what? How can he freed the slaves? And you're like, you don't read a read a book. <laughs> it's like read one book. And it's like you know that shit. It's like annoying. Yeah, it's. Uh, but they 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 hearken back to this time yeah. that that never really right. was. Never it's existed. all a yeah. fantasy. It's all a a facade just to keep you down and and to keep them in control. And, and that's you know that's that's why I've, I've been jaded for, for so many years. And you know what happens. When you're younger, you have that energy, you have the vitality, you sort of push through it and you keep moving on. Hey, this is going to get better. You're more optimistic. As you get older, you kind of get worn down when you see the same people committing all kinds of crimes, doing all kinds of bad stuff. And all they do is get rewarded. They don't even get, you know, a slap on the wrist. They just get rewarded for it. They end up even better off than they were before. And after a while, they kind of, you know, you get, you know, turned off by the whole thing. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it really, it's, yeah. That's why when you feel like voting, you're like, oh, does it matter? No, this matters. <laughs> you're just like, whatever. Tell me, like, is, 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 yeah. is this one of your more uplifting uh, podcasts? Or? 
actually, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. I, to see I, mean, the I had Scott Horton on here. But I was like, Ukraine war, go. And he just went <laughs> like an hour and a half without me having to say a word about the Ukraine war. Oh, um, well, sure. It's, it's always good to get us involved in a war. Then, then then we can't look at the gas prices and the food and all the other crazy stuff I, that they're doing. I like sure. uh, uh, Jamie's. Yeah, we do have the same headphones. I bought him the headphones, Jamie. Because I'm like, you know what? I'm a good son. I bought him all we want. Pat, I'm going to do this. Bought him all of his own equipment. I bought him all of his equipment. Have a pet. Good kid. Good kid. He did. Right here. He put a gun in my back and said, look it, you take this damn stuff because I'm giving it to you. You start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you start a podcast. I'm telling you. No. <laughs> yeah, we had the same exact headphones, which, which I totally forgot we did until like halfway through. I realized too. I was like, I hope no one else realizes that. <laughs> uh, yep. Your pops needs to run for office. You all can play with the last name to victory. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I Nutter and Nutter would make make a great law firm. But I'm just not crooked firm. enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. I, I, do you have I any political aspirations to run when you retire in local oh. office for local shit? I, I I could never put up with them. They they they'd haul me off. You know, the first parent teachers meeting, I'd be strangling some official somewhere. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, be, would be that it would crazy. not be pretty. I have to tell you. Be yeah, that's why I got yeah, a shout out to Alex Stein who fucking just goes and trolls those. I showed I showed you who that was. <laughs> you, yeah, you could you know who he was. I showed you. Uh, you just yeah, that goes was, that board was funny. Just trolls all these fucking dumb te- all these dumb funny. fucking school. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I have a good son. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> 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 he is. He is. No, no, no matter what I say about him, he uh, really is. He's a good son. That's four uh, bucks for those that have been counting. It, it it was nuts when you told like uh, during about uh, all the COVID stuff when you because you were still living in New York you just moved like you just moved to Jersey four weeks ago so you lived in yeah. New York during the whole time yeah. and you know it sucked out in PA with the mask stuff for sure but we got to go to restaurants like two weeks after you know like pretty quick no. Philly listen no. Philly and Pittsburgh were different I'm talking about the rest of us so the rest of the state was like pretty much is wear a mask and you could do whatever the fuck um uh <laughs> you though. I was like, you guys go out, and they're like, you guys are like, we have been out, able to go out to eat for a year. I was right. like, what? I'm like, how do restaurants survive? I was like, you were like, it was literally all outside dining for a year. That's, I mean, that's like literally a crap. So, um, well, like, New, New York City is worse than the rest well, of yeah, New York. Yeah, of course. I, 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 well, because again, that's, that's what I was saying. The major, Island, major so world people live there. So yeah. they, they, they try and control every aspect of what you do and, and what you say and how you look. And it's just, it's nightmarish. Couldn't, couldn't wait to get out. Yeah, I don't so know. As, as, as bad as die. Jersey is, it's still a far cry from New York City. <laughs> yeah, Tim said, uh, Adam, your dad is a goddamn genuine hero. <laughs> uh Tim Tim's running for uh lieutenant governor of PA. Oh, he, sweet. He's, he's our he's oh, he's our Mises back candidate. Oh, sweet. that's another thing I want to talk to you about. You joined the Mises caucus uh as yes. of last last year, I think, officially. Last year, yeah. Uh last year. What what made you join that just because the same philosophy i mean because we're right <laughs> it's everything that i believe in so why shouldn't you go with the group with everything that you believe in i mean if i'm going to struggle for something at least struggle with the group and and pull in the same direction and struggle together so yeah yeah okay full honesty we don't have the same mic i do have the 200 hundred dollar mic and he does not but you know what <laughs> you know what still got him a decent mic and you know what? <laughs> also, <laughs> when he when I said when he when I said this to you, when you officially start your podcast, I said I'll get you the. Yes, he did. He actu- actually actually did. He I said I get you the hundred dollar mic and the condenser. He's so a mic- good son. Five dollars. <laughs> Later, brother bear. Um, <laughs> any uh, history? Because we we're at about an hour. I usually give everything to an hour. Um, oh fuck no. I did want to talk about comic books with you and comic book culture real quick before we go. Could we have time? You have, you have nowhere okay. to go. Tell, mom doesn't care about you. Uh, <laughs> hey, the dog does though. The dog does. Wow. Showing your tattoo farm in front of your dad. I just respect you. <laughs> <laughs> he has tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, uh, my wife blames me for starting him down the road of, of being tattooed. By the so. way, She's okay. not wrong. <laughs> so. She's not wrong. You did because I always hold on. To, but she's she's wrong, but not. I always liked them, but when yeah. you got one, I was like, "That's my green light." <laughs> that was my green light to do it. <laughs> so you did give me the green light overall, I guess to say. Uh, you're uh, welcome. You're welcome. But um, it's comic books. 
you are the one who got me into comic books. Now, obviously, I took it and took it to a new level of collecting and all that stuff. But you are the one who got me into right comic books. What mm-hmm. got you into comic books? Uh, actually, it was my mother, your grandmother. Uh, yes. She used to walk <laughs> down the the avenue in in uh, Brooklyn, and she used to go to all the stores. And I used to complain all the time. So she walked into a candy store, grabbed a couple of comic books off the rack just to shut me up. And said, here, read these as we're going around. And, you know, she figured that would keep me quiet and stop complaining. And it worked. It actually did. And that's what got me into comics. And then growing up with with you, uh, because you wouldn't read. uh, I read now. It was like like 18. You wouldn't read. No. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) (laughs) That that age is so. So I figured, how am I going to get you to read? So I figured, I'll go back to comic books. And we took out the comic books and we sat down together and we went through them. And that started off our comic book. And then up until COVID, we were going to uh, the Jacob Javits Center uh, together to uh, Comic-Con, which was, which was great. It, it was a once, once a year father-son kind of uh, adventure, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, me too. Uh, which the bummer I they ruined it. <laughs> anymore, unfortunately. Uh, so... Yeah, I, I was yeah, gonna that's, say, well, that's really it. well, they ruined it more. Not just yeah. COVID ruined it, but they ruined it in like I was gonna say, like the woke culture of comic books and the way that shit's going now is very annoying. And yeah. it's more about an agenda than just a story, you know. And and like going to Comic Con and you're like, you show off and you're just like, oh, okay, I just kind of came to see the movies coming out, but they're just like, you know, <laughs> you have to do this to be this, so you're an ally to this, and you're like. It's fucking July or October. Like I don't. But it was fun fuck. going like, there and, and getting a hat yes. together or shirts together. That's what I'm saying that all that was new fun. Toys or games or comics. That's where we saw the uh, the, the Spider Man comic, which was worth how how much was that worth? So that some, huge amount. Some asshole let me hold. Ooh. This is by the way, like four years ago. Oh right yeah. before COVID. This is the yeah. year before yeah. COVID. It, yeah, absolutely. This is this must have been 2018. No, no, mm-hmm. this is 2019. This is 2019 because 2019? 2020, right? Yeah, well, it had to have been because 2020, we didn't yeah, go. Yeah, right, right, right. So 2019 was the last year yeah. we went. Right. So this guy let me hold an amazing Fantasy 15 for all you comic book nerds who aren't comic book nerds out there. <laughs> wow. That's the very ever first Spider Man. And then he let me hold before. an amazing Spider Man number one, which is the very first mm. Spider Man and his own title. Uh, and they were both a 9.6 and a 9.8. Or nine point, or maybe they were two nine point sixes, which are literally a million dollars each. Yeah. And he wasn't selling them, but he was like, they were just there for. I'm like, I wouldn't even have these here, and you just let me hold these. I could have no. ran. I no, legitimately could have ran away. He would, he would have tackled you. No, no he wouldn't at all. I yes, was much was. faster than that guy. That guy was eight thousand pounds. That guy was not care. catching me with a, with a million dollars. You would have seen him run. That I'm guy was eight thousand pounds and <laughs> had all the weight on, on his knees. That guy wasn't running for shit. <laughs> There's no way he was running. But that was oh, nuts. Yeah. yeah, but uh I just I just hate yeah, like even in, in some in some of the movies and shows that you know we used I used to love, now it's like mm. this clear agenda they're pushing. You're like, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> like yeah. just um, I just go, how does this pertain to the story? Oh, it doesn't? Then what's it for? Answer by me. Way, I, I, that's what I like to say. I like to go answer me, answer me, Disney, or whatever, you know. By the way, I hope you sold that Disney stock. I did. Good, I did. Yeah, good. I sold it. And I sold that stock and just put it into Bitcoin. Good. Yeah. Which is low. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. But better uh, than Disney. But no, but uh, comic book. Yeah. So you're the one who got me to comic books, and now right. because of you, I have a. Well, I'll say I saw. I say I. Say I but it's really we have a, over like thirty thousand dollar comic book collection, which is crazy. And that's just from, and, and like people think like we bought that. It's like, no, a lot of that was just from shit that we bought over the years, like in the that's 90s, right. and 80s, lot, you, you in the 80s. And that's right. And then yeah. us together in the 90s and early 2000s. And then obviously yeah. throughout the years, yeah, you buy and sell shit and you get like, you know, I mm-hmm. I, I, I bought uh, the first, I, I bought a New Mutants 98, which is the very first Deadpool for people out there. Like, yeah. I had to buy that. I, like you didn't have that. You had every, by the way, you had almost everything but that one. 
you know what happens one week you don't go yeah. because of whatever and that's the one you miss that's the week you so. and of course it's deadpool yeah. you had you had new mutants 100 you had the end of it you had yep. the end run you had the first cable you had, yep. you had so much you had the first like it's so much shit. Oh, I had a lot of then, stuff. Not Deadpool though. I was going through that box you just, you just gave me recently that I just sent like yeah. I, just, I sent a bunch of shit down. And I was like, oh yeah, you had a giant new mutant run. And I was like, no way. I was like, ooh, I'm like 90, I'm like 87, 88, 89, not and then I was like, motherfucker, it skipped it. <laughs> I was like, you fuck. But uh yeah. it's crazy. And so like I'm like, I'm again, the first hobgoblin, I bought that. Mm -hmm ungraded like 2000 and like i think 11 mm -hmm. i bought that ungraded sent it down it came back like a 9.6 i'm like that's pretty cool the very first hobgoblin that's like a thousand two thousand dollars now yeah you know what i'm saying all this shit like just appreciates in value and people are like sure. you, you bought it? i'm like no you think i'm buying a thousand dollar comic book <laughs> you're fucking mind i'm like no 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 i'm like i'm like we all got these years ago but what's but what's really great about that is is all the memories attached to it oh yeah of and, course and how so you got it and I remember going to the comic like I like it, it does suck like, like there aren't really no comic book stores now like very few uh, and the handful. the charm the charm of them kind of went away like they're not as fun as they used to be like a lot of them now are just kind of dirty like they're just messy like they're not clean like they're not organized like like have you gone to comic book shops lately not for quite some time go, go to there whatever the closest ones that you have in, Jer in Jersey go to it I'm telling you you'd be like eh. unless it's one of the good ones there are good ones like you know like I, I have some good ones by me. Right. But overall, you're like, eh, kind of whatever. Kind of shit. <laughs> but it's a bummer. But yeah, the memories were fun, for sure. Oh, yeah. Always great. But uh, yeah, but unfortunately, I think those days are dead. The glory days of comic books are dead. And keep you know, the everything that goes around comes around. Adam, Hopefully. So. Yeah, true. Uh, we, could, uh, we could wrap it up. So. Please. Tell everybody where they can find you on Twitter. And you're coming. Oh, you know, don't see your upcoming podcast name yet. <laughs> don't say it yet. <laughs> Just go follow him at Robert G. Nutter on Twitter. He's a fun follow, apparently. Everybody it's thinks so. Right up there on the screen. Right there on the screen. <laughs> and uh, be on the lookout for his future podcast on the Drop Time Media Network that, of course, this is on. The Cult of Us is on. Uh, it's right. going to be, again, a history. It's, it's going to be him. Uh, sitting there with uh, maybe a cigar or a different drink from a certain region of the earth <laughs> world. And he's going to be like, uh, for example, like uh, I'm drinking this wine. It's part of France and uh, Napoleon started here or whatever the fuck. I don't know. <laughs> and then it took a whole back. Don't give away all my plots. Do an episode about Napoleon. <laughs> whatever the fuck. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to that show. I think it's really good. I love uh, cognac. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's a great idea for a podcast. Um, there you go. Everybody, again, as always, follow me at Adam Nutter. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This was fun. I'm sure clips will be or sure clips already out, and I can't defend myself because I am suspended on Twitter for a week. <laughs> so and uh, I'm not. <laughs> he is not. So go follow him. Go follow at the Porcupine Pod because I'll be using that on Twitter because that I'm not suspended from that. <laughs> so go follow me there. I'll be communicating there for the next week and a half. Uh, don't leave the studio when you're done. When I, you're just going to be off screen. Don't oh, leave. You're gonna have to keep talking to you. Yes. <laughs> so again, do, everybody. Do, do you yeah. see what I have to put up with? Oh, Fucking all right. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> hey, everybody else. Kidding. Love everybody. Love you, brother and sister bears. This has been fun. Thank you for doing number fifty with me. This is love you. Love you too. Love you. <laughs> and all the I will see you guys. Uh oh. Fuck, of course, I'm getting off, dude. What up, bro? <laughs> I'll see you later, Liam. Uh, seven. That's seven. All right, guys. Peace out. Love you. Thanks for listening. Find Adam on social media, Twitter and IG at Adam Nutter or Facebook and TikTok at Adam Nutter Comedy. And for podcasts and merch, check out www.droptent.com. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe so you never miss an episode. This has been a Drop Tent Media Production.